guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope you are having an incredible holiday week. It is Christmas weekend, and I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. So this is going to be a little bit of a haul slash melting basket slash new release slash announcement sort of video for Fantasy Wax. So as you see from the title above, this is going to be a Fantasy Wax video. I have fallen so in love with Fantasy Wax this year and I blame Andrea here on YouTube. I'll link her YouTube down below. I love Andrea. She is so sweet, such a good friend and her best friend, um, Kirsten created Fantasy Wax and it is on Etsy. I'll leave the link down below. But Fantasy Wax makes some incredible blends. So strong, more simplistic fragrances and almost like going back to like what I love about fragrance, which is fragrance. And she's known for her shot cups. I don't have any in this basket, but I do have some in the new haul that came out. But I did want to film this video today because there's a lot of excitement happening with Fantasy Wax, especially when I upload this video. And anyway, the first thing I want to share is my melting basket for the week of Christmas. Now I know, Drew, today is Friday. It's Christmas Eve Eve. Yes. So today, tomorrow, Christmas, and then throughout that week, is what I'm considering Christmas week, since Christmas is on a Sunday, I am going to be melting the entire Fantasy Wax Christmas collection. So this is a mix of two different restocks that Fantasy Wax had for her Christmas releases. What Kirsten does, and her husband Brian, it's a family business, which I love, she comes out with little mini collections. So the one was Mickey's Magical Christmas, and then the other one was the Santa Claus collection. So they are both sold out as of now, but I still want to show because the shapes are beautiful. She did a lot of shapes this time, but Fantasy Wax is so strong. Like for example, her snap bar, I will put one piece in all of my warmers in my open living room, kitchen, dining room, and it'll last all day, some, sometimes even into the second day. And you just really don't find that a lot with Vendor Wax. So really excited, really love it. I understand her wax is at a little bit of a higher price point than some other vendors, but I will leave my discount code down below, Drew10, for 10% off your code. Yes, it is an affiliate link, so if you're comfortable with that, feel free to use that. If not, I totally understand. But anyway, save a little bit of coin this holiday season. And with Fantasy Wax, so she had two different Christmas collections, but she does vote with you guys on Facebook in her Facebook group, which I'll also link down below. Lots of links down below. And you can vote for fragrances that you love. And there's definitely a few here that I would like to see in upcoming releases because they are top tier, beautiful chef's kiss fragrances. I really like them as well as some really cool blends that I wasn't expecting. So I wanna share what I'm gonna be melting this Christmas weekend with you guys, as well as she just did an update on her core collection. So on her Etsy shop, her core line is available all the time, 365 days a year. You can always order the core scents. She always restocks them. And time, time, time after time, or like throughout the time, is that the way to say it? Throughout the times? Anyway, um, she will add some core scents. So she did add five new core fragrances to the core collection, as well as blender bags to test out to see how you like them. So they're pretty basic blender fragrances that you can use. They're in little mini chunk bags like this where you can blend them and add something to them. Take away if you want to put a little bit of like cream cheese frosting to your blend. I'll get into that. And then last but not least, today at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Eastern, which is me in the East Coast, she is releasing a collaboration with Plana Hannah, which is Hannah here on YouTube. She does more planner-based videos, but I follow the fabulous Hannah for her melting baskets and her wax hauls. I love watching her. Her, Andrea Kirsten, some awesome ladies. The planner community, while I'm still trying to get into planning in the new year, I'm going to try, try to stay more organized and do some planning in the new year. But 
I really love them. They're so sweet, so down to earth, nice, genuinely nice ladies who are just very good hearted and don't, you know, do things, you know, out of spite for people. Like they are, they do things because they genuinely care and they're just very sweet people. And what I love about Hannah is she collabed with Fantasy Wax and Kirsten to do a collab. So it will be an eight pack of snap bars. They look like this. I don't have them, but you're going to get an eight pack for $34.95, a little bit less if you use my promo code. And it's eight cents that Hannah partnered with Fantasy Wax to create. I'm definitely ordering at least two sets today. I definitely want to try them. I'll review them on here, but pick them up because I have a feeling they're going to sell out lickety split. So I will leave Fantasy Wax's website down below. And like I said, 4 p.m. on the 23rd of December. So whether you're watching it now or later, I'll leave the link and hopefully they're there. But six minutes of me yapping, let me get into the basket. So first things first, we'll start with the only one I believe. I have two that I have two of. The first one is Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time. And it is a six pack of mini chunks. And this is pink sugar peppermint. You can never go wrong with pink sugar and peppermint. It's just that classic pink sugar, sweet, girly, little bit perfumey with a hint of peppermint. I love, I'm very excited to melt this one probably in my bedroom. Next, we have the Santa Claus, which is milk and cookies. And look at how even cute the label is. Can you see that? Even the label has all the little detail, super cute. These are red and white blocks. And milk and cookies is just that. I don't think it smells like unnecessary, like, chocolate chip cookie. I think it's more of like a warm baked fresh from the oven sugar cookie with a hint of like a vanilla infused steamed milk. Really pretty, really strong too. So I'm excited to try that one out. And I will do one cube in each warmer. So this will do my open layout, my kitchen, dining room and living room, and it'll scent it the whole entire day. The next one is Believing is Seeing, and this is Vanilla Bean Noel, Zucchini Bread, and Pie Crust. So, an extra creamy bakery zucchini bread. Love, love Fantasy Wax's zucchini bread. It's that really warm, comforting, almost nutty zucchini bread. Not like the corn chips, at least to me and my nose. And then the Pie Crust and the Vanilla Bean Noel just add a little bit more warmth and a bakery twist to the fragrance. So, Really like that one. Next, we have one clam, and this guy is in Once Upon a Christmas. And this is, oh, is it focusing? Here we go, Once Upon a Christmas, which is frosted graham crackers and salted caramel. Now look how cute. This was obviously part of the Mickey collection. We have the dazzling Mickey glitter and the red wax. This is so yummy. I love salted caramel. And Hannah actually has a scent in the collection, in her collab, that's salty caramel and zucchini bread, which I really haven't seen from any vendors. So I love the caramel note in here. It's that true salty, butterscotchy caramel. Oh, this is going in my kitchen for sure. I love, love this one. So excited to get my hands on the collab with Hannah too. If there's salted caramel and zucchini bread, sign me up. Next, we have these adorable, adorable Mickey shape bags. Take a look. There's the castle. Looks like a little, is this a little ornament? It looks like a little ornament. And then two Mickey heads. And this one is in North Pole, which is peppermint bark. So again, one shape in each warmer. Oh, this is perfect. This is peppermint and chocolate. And I'm not the hugest fan of chocolate and wax, but when it's mixed with peppermint, it just blows my socks off. I love it because I think the peppermint adds a coolness and the chocolate, it just sets the tone for the season of like chocolate peppermint. So really excited for that one. This one, you know why I love it. It is Mickey's Most Merriest and this is Christmas Trees Sugar Cookie and Palo Santo. Love that Fantasy Wax is doing some Palo Santo. She sent me some samples in my one order of just straight up Palo. I did that in my bathroom in a tea light. So good. It's that more like warm, perfumey, almost like comforting and exotic Palo, not like the warm, 
spiced wood like um, Bath and Body Works candles. And this is so good. You immediately get the Palo Santo, immediately. It's that, again, that warm, exotic, sultry Palo with a pine of the Christmas tree and then a hint of that sugary Christmas or sugar cookie. So excited to start melting that one. Next, we have two of these giant snowflake shapes. The first one is in Snow on Main Street, and this is Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Old Town Bake Shop. Now, you'll see in a little bit um, Old Town Bake Shop and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. We'll talk about it. They're blenders in her new collection. This is really nice. This is just a straight blender scent. And like Snow on Main Street, so you figure Main Street in Disney World, it's like all the bakeries and the shops. And whenever you walk into a bakery, you just smell a little bit of everything. You smell cupcakes, you smell cookies, you maybe smell candy. You smell just a little bit of everything. And that's what this smells like. It smells like you just walked into a bakery, really creamy, really just a little bit spiced from the Old Town Bake Shop, but not like cinnamon, just like a little warm spice. It's beautiful. Love, love, love. It's gonna be hard to pick what I wanna melt first, but that's why Christmas is more than one day. Next, we have Snow Globe in this giant snowflake shape. So I'll probably cut this into fours. And this is caramel maple swirl, warm apples, and peaches. So a little bit different with the peach and the apple. I'm only getting like a spiced apple. I'm not really smelling any peach. It might come out on warm, but right now I just smell like a very warm spiced apple. It's not my favorite on cold, but I hope the peach comes out a little bit more on warm because I like, I like the peach notes. So excited to try that one. Now next we have two of these like mini souffle mini pies. This one I love. This one is in Toy Soldiers. And this one is Cranberry Zucchini Bread. I love me some zucchini bread and I love cranberry this time of year. And it's a perfect combination. It's warm spiced cranberry with that delicious zucchini bread. And take a look there, the glitter. Mm. It's so yummy. It is so yummy. And if you hear the wind, it is like negative five degrees outside today. So a great day to be home and cozy in the house. And what better way than filming a wax video? Next, we have E.L.F.F.S. or Elf's. And this is in Honey Spiced Pear. I love a pear scent. And I remember Scentsy had a delicious honey pear cider that they discontinued. And this is giving me honey pear cider vibes. It's giving me warm. It's giving me cozy. It's giving me like a cinnamon spice pear, just fresh from the oven. And there are the Harry and David pears too that have been dipped or um, covered in gold foil. The best. Delish. Next, we have a two pack of these little like tartlets they look like. And this one is in Bernard the Head Elf. Now this is pecan twist and fresh coffee. Yum, I love a good coffee in the morning. The thing is with fantasy wax, it lasts like all day. So I have to put this in like a couple warmers that I turn off like halfway through the day because I don't want to smoke coffee necessarily all day. I love it in the morning though. And this is so yummy. The pecan twist, you get that like yeasty breadiness of the pecan roll with the fresh coffee. This smells like you're just walking downstairs on a special holiday or a special day. You know, whenever you have family coming over and your mom's like, you're like, mom never makes like fresh breakfast for us in the morning. But when guests are here, she makes homemade desserts and breads and breakfast pastries. That's kind of what this reminds me of is the coffee is brewing and the pastries are on the counter. Next, we have hot chocolate swirl or hot, hot, hot chocolate stroll. And this one is hot cocoa and peppermint mallow. So who doesn't love hot chocolate with peppermint? And that's what it smells like. It smells like super, super creamy, milky hot chocolate, gooey marshmallow, and a hint of a peppermint stick. And I say a hint, you definitely can smell the peppermint. If you don't like peppermint, you won't love this. It's definitely peppermint. I love peppermint and it smells divine. So that is hot cocoa, hot chocolate stroll. 
Another one that I have two of is Judy's Perfect Recipe. I don't remember ordering two of these ones, but maybe I did. And this is Gingerbread Cafe Latte. So rich coffee, a hint of gingerbread. Oh, it's so good. Gingerbread is just so good in wax. I love gingerbread. Cinnamon, little spice. Mm, fabulous. Love that. Another gingerbread is Gingerbread Men, which is Snickerdoodle Gingerbread and Sugar Cookie Royale. I have fallen head over heels in love with Sugar Cookie Royale lately. It's just like the ultimate sugar cookie. And it's like buttery sugar cookies, which I think it just makes it even better, right? Who doesn't love a buttery sugar cookie? And that's what this smells like. Like a creamy, creamy, buttery sugar cookie with a hint of spice from the gingerbread. Really like that one. Next, we have Totally Tinsel Tomorrowland. Hold that one up there. There we go. And this one is Cocoa Butter Cashmere and Spiced Winter Tea. I love the detail on this snap bar. If you can see, it's like super blue and it has a little bit of the sparkly, you're almost like iridescent snowflakes. Really pretty. This is nice, guys. This is really nice. It's definitely like Lean's Laundry with a Cocoa Butter Cashmere. Not getting much tea. If I do, it kind of smells more like a white tea, which is like leaning more fresh. I think this is going to be a really nice bedroom melt after I like change the sheets, fresh sheets on the bed, ready to go. Next, we have these gigantic shapes. So this one is a little reindeer and a little snowman. So cute. And this is apple, oh, it's holiday treats, which is apple strudel, zucchini bread, and glazed donuts. Yummy. And this is yummy. Now, I will say, she has a scent, The Mayor from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Wow, is it windy. And that is apple strudel zucchini bread. I prefer that one over this one. The glazed donuts almost take away from the creamy zucchini bread and the cinnamony apple strudel. It's almost like the glazed donuts add a little bit too much cinnamon or bakery. I don't know. It's okay. I definitely prefer the mayor, which is just apple strudel zucchini bread. I would love to see that one have a comeback. Now this one, I already put the order away, but I did order three of these. I knew it would be amazing. This shape is a little Santa head and a little Santa. And this one is in Comet the Reindeer, brown sugar pound cake and pretzel. Come on, brown sugar pound cake and pretzel, yum. And this is so good. It's buttery, salty, sweet, yeasty pretzel. And that brown sugar pound cake. Oh my God, I love brown sugar and wax. It just makes everything smell better. It makes everything smell like you just have this sweetness in the air that like is a little salty. So it makes you like just wanna lick the air. Delicious. Next we have Dancing Reindeer. I was watching a YouTuber uh, I forget her, Lillian Blush. I think she's a planner YouTuber. And I think she ordered like 10 bars of this. This is Amaretto Nog. And I will admit, I'm not the biggest fan of Amaretto scents. Like, like almondy. I didn't get that. I didn't say anything, Siri. Amaretto scents, but it's okay. It's not a favorite. I'm not getting a ton from this. So maybe whenever I melt it on, cold, on warm, it'll come out. But right now, not a favorite. The other one though, absolutely a favorite. And this is a rose such a clatter. And this is cranberry apple marmalade and artisan bread. It has bread, sign me up. I'm all about the bread scents. I love everything bread. And mixed with cranberry apple marmalade, a gooey, jammy, delicious cranberry. Heaven, this is heaven on earth. This is so good. Oh with the bread, this might be a Christmas day melt because I just love it so much. Because after Christmas, I'm like over Christmas scents. So this I want to melt while I'm like in the mood. Cranberry apple marmalade and artisan bread. So good. Oh, yum. I definitely need more of this. If this is in a pre-order and she has loaves, 
I need a loaf of this. Well, that was my melting basket of the two Fantasy Wax Christmas collections. I'm gonna go reorganize this basket so it looks super cute and not a hot mess like this. And then I will show you the new releases from the last pre-order or the last RTS, which is still available. So definitely take a look at those and I'll be right back. As I put my basket away and like put out the core scents, there's actually six. I know I said five, but there are six new core fragrances. I picked up two of each and then I also picked up Kirsten's fave. So let's just start. So one thing I also want to add, I just love that Fantasy Wax does, is Kirsten on the morning of the releases, which typically take place on Fridays, hence today, and she will make a release video. So she'll talk about the inspiration, why she chose necessarily like the colors, the decorations, the scents, why that scent was in a certain collection, etc. So example, Plana Hannah's collab that launches today. She just uploaded a video. I'll also link that down below. Have to remember all the links that I talked about. I definitely talked about a lot of links. Andrea, Fantasy Wax, Hannah, Kirsten's channel, her Facebook group, all the links. There's gonna be at least five links down below. Anyway, she does a new release video, and so she has Plana Hannah's Wax, the collab, talks a little bit about her friendship with Hannah, how the collab got to be, and that way you can experience it before it goes live, which I think is really cool. Where most vendors, they just put out their pre-order or their RTS list. All this is RTS, by the way. She does do pre-orders, not nearly as often as like other vendors. She's much more an RTS company, which I just love. And it's not Hunger Games. She definitely pours enough to last at least the first day. Some things sell out a little bit quicker than others. Anyway, this scent, you guys... Kirsten's fave 2022. So one thing that Kirsten does is there's Kirsten, Brian, and then her two kids every month that it's their birthday month. So Kirsten's birthday is in December. She releases her favorite fragrance of the year. She comes up with it and she sells it the entire month of December. So this will be available the entire month of December. I will say though, then it's gone. And I already know with Hannah's collab, I'm picking up some more of these. These are literally my three favorite notes in wax in one. So Kirsten's fave is also Drew's fave. And it is blackberry jam butter cookie, pumpkin pecan waffles, and pretzel. I'm not blowing smoke. You guys know blackberry jam butter cookie I have talked about for at least the last six months. It's my new obsession, warm. Let me tell you, when you warm blackberry jam butter cookie, it's like the shortbread cookie filled with juicy blackberry jam just came out of the oven. And it's salty enough from the shortbread cookie that it makes your mouth just water. It's delicious. It's divine. I love blackberry jam butter cookie in wax. Blended with anything, it's phenomenal. I need to get more blackberry jam butter cookie wax in my life next year because it's just so good. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Who doesn't love pumpkin pecan waffles at this point? It's a classic, juicy, not juicy, warm, buttery, delicious waffle. I don't necessarily think it smells pumpkin-y. It's more like a nutty waffle. And then pretzel. We don't even need to talk about how much I'm obsessed with pretzel in this house. So, yes, and ready? Look at the glitter. It's like Tiffany blue with beautiful iridescent glitter. Now, these scent shots do retail for $4.45. You do have my code for 10% off, but I cut one of these in half, one in my bedroom in a hot plate, fills up the entire bedroom. So for example, in her core scents, I bought two. I'll cut each one in half, four. Two in my living room, one in my kitchen, and one in my dining room, and it'll fill up the whole open concept all day long, you guys. Like, her scent shots are great, and dollar for dollar, money for ounce, her wax is strong. This is so good. It is like 33, 33, and 33%. You smell everything. Nothing overpowers. It's an equal parts of each. It is beautiful. Oh, I love it. I, I definitely need more of these in my life in the next, like today, I'm ordering more. So you better go before I buy them all. Kirsten's Fave 2022, 
the best love. How could you not? All right, so now let's go into the core fragrances. The first one is Pistachio Pudding Cake. So these are all going to be pretty simple descriptions. They're all pretty simple single scent oils that we know everybody loves. They're good to mix. They're good on their own. They're just good that you want to have all the time. This one has a pretty green glitter on that. And that's it. It's Pistachio Pudding Cake. It's that ju... It's that... Cr why do I always want to just say juicy? It's not juicy, people. It's nutty. It's warm. It's just comforting. I love pistachio pudding cake. This is a new love for me, and I blame Andrea. Tea and cakes. Never loved tea and cakes before. Never actually really ordered tea and cakes until Fantasy Wax. And Andrea becoming obsessed it has a little bit of wax crumbs because it's negative degrees when this was delivered, but never really thought about ordering it before. And then Andre's like, you gotta try it, Drew. It is so good. It is so strong. To me, it smells like a hot lemon tea and like a white cake. I don't necessarily think it smells like a buttery cake. It's more of like a sponge cake. Almost like you could think of like a poke cake, but instead of, you know, putting like a sauce or a fruit jam or anything like that absorbs into the cake, it's like a hot lemon tea. It's beautiful. Really like it. And it is strong, you guys. Like tea and cakes is strong and it's blended with so much. And I think in the Hannah collab, there's tea and cakes espresso, I want to say. And then something else, I could be totally wrong, but either way, I know there's a tea and cakes blend from Hannah. Really excited to get it. Next, pumpkin pecan waffles. How could you not have pumpkin pecan waffles in a core line? And it's so fun, so glittery, orange with a little bit of red wax. Delicious, nutty, bakery, waffly, yeasty deliciousness. Pumpkin pecan waffles is fabulous. Next, we have Blueberry Cobbler. I do love me a blueberry. Not as much as I like blackberry, but I do like a blueberry bakery. And look how fun the glitter is on this. Love, love, love the purple. So yummy, fruity, juicy blueberry. A little bit of bakery in there. If I pop this out, is, nope. I thought wax was gonna go everywhere. Yeah, it's, blue, it's beautiful. A little bit of glitter on the bottom too. So yummy. Blueberry Bakery. There's never a wrong time to melt Blueberry Bakery either. I think you could melt it all year. Season, seasonally appropriate all year. Next, oh my gosh, this is Coffee Shop. And the way that the font looks, I thought it said fresh coffee and baked potatoes. But it definitely says baked pastries. Thought it said baked potatoes for a second. Well, I don't know where I'm at, but oh, and this is yummy. This is like fresh brewed coffee. And then the pastries make it smell like you're literally in a coffee shop. So yummy. So good. Good for the morning. Good for all the time. Good for just a core scent. All of these are perfect core scents. And they all hit a different spot. You have your fruities. You have a little bit of fresh. You have your bakeries. Fresh picked strawberry. I love strawberry. I have to have like a whole week of strawberry soon because strawberry in wax is my favorite. And look at how fun it is. Beautiful red shiny glitter. And this is a good strawberry. This is a good classic fruity strawberry. Strawberry to me all, all leans um, a little bit artificial, but I mean, that's just the nature of strawberry fragrance, I think. True strawberries don't have a true super strong scent. But this is really nice. It's a really good fruity strawberry. I actually think I want to blend this with pistachio pudding cake. Strawberry pistachio. Delish. Doesn't that sound yummy? I think so. All right. And then last but not least, I'm going to zoom through these because the video is already long. But we have six of her blender bags. I believe these are still available. Do not quote me on that. But these Kirsten created are basic scents, scents that she adds as blenders to a lot of things. So I don't do a ton of blending, you guys. I say, I want to blend this with this. I want to blend this with this. And I never end up doing it. So having blender bags, I think will really help. I could either add like one cube to this and one cube of another in like a hot plate, or I can cut this in half to add a little bit of sweetness or a little bit of a different bakery note 
two other blends. So excited to have these to add. They are limited right now, but if the feedback's great, maybe they'll be permanent. So the first one we have is Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I'm not the hugest fan of Cupcakes at Tiffany's on its own. I've tried. Somebody tried to talk me into melting it on its own and is like, isn't it the best scent in the world? And I'm like, no, it's pretty boring. No, it's not really exciting. Um, it's, it's good. It's not exciting to me though. It's like a creamy cupcake, but that's it. I mean, it says something like fruity buttercream and chocolate pieces or toffee pieces. I don't really get that. These are all just pretty, like, pretty good blenders. Next, we have a sweet bakery dough. Like I said, I am going to start mixing these with other things, like maybe the fresh picked strawberry on the cupcakes at Tiffany's. Who knows? And yeah, this is good. It's just like a, like a doughy, bready bakery. Again, I'm not going to be like the most enthusiastic in the blenders, just because they are blenders. Next, we have Waffle Cone, and like that's what they're intended for. So don't be like, oh, he wasn't super ha like thrilled with them. They're just blenders. And this is okay. Again, like pretty basic Waffle Cone. Simple. It smells like, like a Waffle Cone. Like a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, and that like pancakey batter that you use to make Waffle Cones with. Next, we have Old Town Bake Shop. Now, I was pretty excited to see this because I have never smelled Old Town Bake Shop on its own before. And this is probably like the strongest one on cold. It's definitely like a, like you walked into a bakery. Like you get a little bit of everything, but you don't get any spice. It's more like you get a little bit of everything and it's all creamy. It's all super, super creamy. So really like that one. Next one we have is cream cheese frosting. This one I'll definitely blend with things. It smells just like cream cheese frosting. Just like you went and got your cans of cinnamon rolls that you smacked on the counter, popped open, scared the whole family. And thank you, truck. And it just smells like that sweet royal icing that you put on cream cheese. So. I actually think she has a scent in her core line called Sticky Buns. I have two. I haven't melted them yet. They're very cinnamony, like very cinnamony. I actually think I'm going to take half of the scent shot and half of this and put it in the same warmer. So this will probably be the first experiment I do with the blenders is the cream cheese with the Sticky Buns to see if it mellows out the cinnamon a little bit. And then last but not least, we have Pie Crust. And again... It smells like pie crust. It smells just like that. I hate to say the word basic, but it does. It smells like basic pie crust. So again, definitely more impressed with the blends and the core scents than the blenders. But again, they were designed to be blenders. So don't think that like, oh, these aren't like knock, knock your socks off out of the world. They're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be blenders that you can add to other things. So I'm excited to get to blending. I have a good bit to blend with here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have you guys tried Fantasy Wax? What are you loving? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? New year, new vendors, so many things I want to check out and try in the new year, but definitely my biggest focus is using up. I have a lot of vendors that I want to use up out of my collection that I don't want anymore. Um, just older that are just sitting and not getting used. And it feels good. Like the amount that I hauled today, I know it seems like a lot, but that basket is getting cleared and melted. This is going in and it's so refreshing to like build a basket, melt it and not have like eight packages come in in one week. And I feel like, where am I gonna put it? Like these bins behind me were like overstuffed with wax like three months ago and now they're not. And it feels really good. Like I can open this drawer. This is a bad one. This is all VCS loaves. Anyway, but it feels good that I can just take some wax, enjoy it, not feel overwhelmed by the amount of wax that I have. And with Fantasy Wax, small little hauls, when she does these little collections, doesn't one, break the bank, and two, doesn't make you feel super overwhelmed and be like, oh my God, I need to get like one of everything on the pre-order. Like there's like eight cents in a pre-order or in an RTS, in scent shots or shapes, you know, like 50 bucks, feels really good and then you're good to go. So that's how I feel 
maybe everybody's different, just how I feel going into the new year. Definitely going to watch a little bit more on all the wax that I'm buying and spending more time warming and enjoying my collection. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I make an upload here on YouTube. Again, I'll leave the links down below. And before I end the video, those who speak the loudest have the most to hide. It's my little quote from the day. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye, guys.